everyone, it's Kellen from RacerX back again with another race examination video as we're going to recap a little bit of stuff that happened at the finale of the 2020 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship at Fox Raceway. And I'm going to start off by talking about this first 250 moto start. And uh, off in the background here, you can see Jeremy Martin on the kind of left side of your screen going off the takeoff of this jump. Doesn't pan away to him at the moment, but when we come back to it and they're going to show a replay of it here, you're going to notice that Jeremy Martin actually took off and went a little bit too far to the right side of the track, landed way off the side of the track, almost went down, and that was a really close call. But it kind of set the tone for the battle between he and Ferrandez because Ferrandez himself even had a big moment in that first moto as well. He got kicked sideways, almost went down, putting them both a little bit on the back foot, but they would eventually charge forward and make some moves. Now, this battle between Jet Lawrence and Justin Cooper had this section highlighted for me. As you can see, Lawrence double and then singling around the inside, having a little bit more momentum and speed than Cooper. And he would carry that momentum all the way down to the finish line jump. Now, this is just one small section on a two-minute lap time, but you'll notice that this is where Lawrence is making things happen. And just a lap later, it's also where he used it to take the lead as you can kind of arc this corner a little bit better, get to the inside and make the pass on Cooper. I always love finding nuanced details like this where it's just one section that these guys can make a huge advantage. And in this case, it helped Lawrence take the lead. I want to remind everybody that this video is presented by Onyx Off-Road. Nowhere to go with the number one off-road GPS app. Access 400,000 plus miles of trails and roads, open dates, and public lands. Download the Onyx Off-Road app today. Now sticking with the topic of racecraft and line selection, Dylan Francis was using this really cool outside line through the rollers where he was standing back on the pegs and carrying a lot of momentum to gain time in the first moto. Eventually would catch him past Justin Cooper using that line. And then when he got up to Jet Lawrence, he tried to use it as well, but he wasn't actually gaining as much time as he was earlier in the race, but still really cool to see how he was utilizing his legs to carry speed through there. A lot of time gain just didn't work out to get around Lawrence in the end as uh, the 17 year old claimed his first career moto win right off the bat here at Fox Raceway and really cool to see the camaraderie here at the end. Fran is very stoked for Lawrence. Even Cooper and Lawrence fist bumping. Remember the little drama between uh, each of them at Thunder Valley. And then I think Lawrence and Fran even talk about the roller section here. You can see Fran is kind of gesture like going through a roller section and then Lawrence the same thing. I'm not sure if that's the exact section they're talking about but still kind of cool to see the little uh, chit chat after the race going on there. Moving on to the first 450 class moto and a little bit of gamesmanship here between Adam C. and Cirillo and Zach Osborne. You see Osborne lining up to the inside of Cien Cirillo. He went to the gate fifth, whereas Cien Cirillo went to the gate second, so Osborne got to pick second, and I think did this so that Cien Cirillo wouldn't run him wide in the first corner. Hear what Adam had to say about this situation, though. And he lined up just to my inside uh, in the first moto this week, and I looked at him like, and I was like, dude, are you like, for real? I said, don't make me do this to you. You know, like, don't do this to yourself. You're lined up so close to me. My starts have been good. I'm just going to come right over on you. And I actually ended up going the other way. I ended up going right, losing balance and going right. So... So in the end, the strategy worked out for Osborne because obviously the last thing you want to have happen is get caught up in a first corner crash while you're trying to clinch a championship. And in this case, he actually grabbed the whole shot. So a big benefit there for Osborne in the first moto. The second motos were relatively uneventful, but a really cool story for Geico Honda to go out on top as they win their final 250 moto of their long and illustrious career with Jeremy Martin taking the win. Jet Lawrence takes the overall win with a second place finish. Joe Shimoda finished third uh, to wrap out the podium sweep, but obviously the story from the day was Dylan Frandis clinching the 2020 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship. And I always just love watching these celebrations because you get to see the raw emotions pour out of these guys. They've raced so hard all year long. Ferrand is so stoked. It's been a long time coming for him, coming over from Europe, making everything happen, going through a corner faster than I've probably ever gone through a corner in my life. Mid-celebration while he's trying to blow up the bike. Comes off, does a little nose wheelie. And it's tough to tell with the mask, but I believe first up here is uh, David Villeman giving him a hug, and then his mechanics, uh, Alex Campbell is also there. I'm not sure. That might be Will Hahn, and then a couple other guys mixed in as well. Um, every every photographer coming over and taking photos and stuff like that as well. But just really cool to see the excitement for Ferrandis. Like I said, huge moment in his career, and he exits the 250 class as an outdoor champion. The second 450 moto saw a little bit of drama in its own right, though, as Adam Cianciulo was trying to hold off Chase Sexton to win the second moto and ends up having this big moment here as he goes down from the race lead. Fortunate to kind of land the dismount very well and get up. He'd eventually finish third in this moto, so he wouldn't quite hold on for the overall victory. I would hand it over to Chase Sexton for that matter. But uh, 
Saints Row actually talked about this crash in the post-race press conference, said he was between first and second gear going up the uh, face of the jump, elected to stay first all the way throughout and ran out of gear pretty much right as soon as he took off. So that's why he kind of lost a little bit of forward momentum, pitched him over the front of the bars, and the dismount stuck as he was able to pick it up and continue on his way. As mentioned, though, Sexton goes through to take the first moto win of his career. It was also the first overall win of his career, and a huge fist pump there. Always loved to see the emotion. Christian Craig, his best moto finish of his career, gets a nice no-footer off and a little celebration for him. But obviously, just like the 250 class, the story was all about the championship, and Zach Osborne cruised at home in this one, just trying to manage and limit the damage as much as possible to clinch the 2020 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship in the 450 class and a lot more subdued obviously than Ferrandis but I think that's because the emotion was just pouring out of him the entire last lap you can see as soon as he took his goggles off he was pretty much already in tears still kind of can't believe that it's all happened as much or as fast as it as it did pretty much for Osborne this year and eventually comes home with the championship so as he pulls off the track here just a little subdued celebration as well much different than Ferrandis but Osborne this has been a huge moment in his career as well big hug here from Dave Feeney his mechanic and then I think uh, this is Scuba Steve also giving him a high five and a, and a bit of a hug as well um, but yeah Osborne just really cool to see him uh, come out of this one as a champion going to run the number one plate next year and 31 years young a champion in the 450 class so that is your lot from the 2020 Fox Raceway National thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next year